Are we having a hot girl summer this year? No. Instead, we are having a summer ween. Friends, hello. Welcome back to Where With This Craftworks. I am Samantha, just like I am always Samantha. And how are you today? I hope you're doing good today. I'm excited today because I've got some projects I want to talk to you about. We are inching ever closer to the summer solstice, to the beginning of summer, and I've got some summer plans, you know? I'm not going to stop crocheting. I've got some things that I want to make, and I want to talk to you guys about them, right? So if you're down for some planning for the summer, for some projects that hopefully will not make us too hot, <laughs> I will just say that, then, you know, grab yourself a nice cold drink and settle down, and let's just discuss some things between friends, right? Now, the very first thing that I'm going to talk to you about today is an update. Now... This is the Summerween purse that I made, that I did a whole project vlog on. I'll link it up here in case you missed it. It is the backpack. So I've got the straps on for the backpack. Um, it has been my backpack bag, my purse, my grab-and-go bag ever since I finished it. I finished it long before Summerween. It is still before Summerween. And I have used this bad boy for quite some time now. In fact, you can probably tell it is stuffed with all kinds of nonsense and <laughs> shenanigans in there. It is my everyday bag and it is holding up. It is holding up wonderfully. The lining is keeping the bag in check, in shape. It is fantastic. I love it. It is my summer bag, my summer bean bag, because these colors, these colors are absolutely Halloween, and it's my summer bag, and summer ween, right, you get it. So I wanted to show you guys that, because I finished that quite a while ago, quite a while ago, and so yeah, it is it's summer ween, and so this is now my purse, and has been for quite a while, and I love it, and so yeah, that's the first thing I wanted to talk about, was just... Just an update on my backpack. The next project that's actually something I'm going to work on is also an update. Now I've got this stuffed <laughs> in a granny square bag that I made. I made this, this was one of the very first bigger projects that I made back in 2021 when I started crocheting. And this is now a project bag, because it's not the greatest. It's made of, you know, Red Heart Super Saver mostly. Um, so it's quite stretchy, so it doesn't really work as like a tote bag, a market bag, a grocery bag. But it does work to hold projects. Now, if you will remember, back in April, I showed you guys a failed granny square duster that I had started to make with cotton colors of cotton yarn with like circle star pentacle kind of granny squares all down the back all down the middle of the back and I meant it to be something I was going to wear to a concert and I ran out of yarn I didn't have enough time to finish it and I also miscounted like a lot and the sides were uneven and so on and so forth it just did not work out and I shoved it all all the squares and the poor duster itself it got shoved in this granny square bag and honestly it just kind of got forgotten about for a month or two but I have since gotten more black cotton, which is what I was running out of, and I'm going to finish this. It does require 
some frogging back, a lot of frogging back, let's, let's be real. It will take a little bit of finagling to get it to look the way I think it, it should, the way I envisioned it in my head, because this also was a project that I didn't do with a pattern. It was just me sort of freehanding it. Except for the, the granny squares. The granny squares have a pattern. Everything else doesn't have a pattern. So I'm going to fix this. I'm going to make it work because I want to wear it. Maybe not in Summerween, but at the end of Summerween. You know, September, beginning of October, before spooky season, right? I think that's a good time of year to sort of shoot for, to aim for. And so, yeah, this thing is going to get worked on. I'm definitely, definitely going to show you guys this finished, okay? So this is, this is going to get worked on in the summer this year, too. Next up, in those colors, in the, that bag, the project in that bag, in those colors, so purple and green, these are for a project that I have had percolating in my braid meats for quite some time that I am finally committing to making as well. I've accumulated not only the yarn, these are both sugar and cream yarns. Let's see. Hot purple and hot green. These are 100% cotton. I've got these two and I've got one of the super size jumbo the ones that are essentially two in one, two cakes in one. I've got some more of these colors as well in those. But I've had an idea to make a something with these specifically. And I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it this summer. And I think I'm going to make a project vlog out of it too. So something to look for with these. But I've been picking things up here and there, including the yarn, and I think I have accumulated all the supplies I need. So I'm going to do something with these for Summerween because these are my colors, and these in these like bright, bright versions, these kind of scream Summerween, right? It's fabulous color combo. So I'm going to do something with these. And also speaking of planned projects, do you guys remember these? The Aunt Lydia's Rug Yarn, Aunt Lydia's Rug Yarn, that a co-worker of mine gave to me that are good and vintage. In fact, I mean, I can even show you. It's so vintage. It's got, can you see it there? A price tag of 48 cents on it. I'm going to use these. And I picked up some big old plastic crochet hooks. And I'm going to use these together. I'm going to actually make a rug for myself. It's taken a while to kind of think of what I wanted to do with these yarns. But it's called rug yarn. And I think it would just make like a really fun and funky oval, probably shaped rug if I held these double stranded. These are spring green and national blue. I just picked them up and I think what I'm going to do is pull them out of these skein form and tie them all together double stranded. I've been working on practicing the fisherman's knot. I think that's what it's called. Where you tie one color to the other color, tie the other color to the first color, and then pull it, and the knots meet in the middle. I'm pretty sure that's called a fisherman's knot. And I've been practicing that, trying to get better at it. And I think I'm going to use this yarn as an excuse to pull random colors in case you need reminding, I've got a billion colors, right? <laughs> I just have so many colors. I think I'm going to tie them together in a random order, hold it double-stranded, and then use one of these big old bad boy hooks and crochet it all together. These are also boy hooks. 
Um, I've never had, I don't think, a boy hook. But I can even pull this one out because I did already pull, pull it out um, just to give it a, a feel. To feel how it hit, feels in my hand. These are jumbo... I guess. <laughs> jumbo plastic crochet hooks. This green one is 11.5 millimeter and then the the light blue one is 15.75 millimeter. These seem very arbitrary <laughs> sizes. Why not 16 millimeters and 12 millimeters, right? Who knows? But I think I will very likely use the 15.75, 15 and 3 quarters. Um, millimeter one to crochet a big rug for my kitchen my bathroom my front porch something who knows I have so much of this yarn that I could honestly probably make more than one rug even <laughs> but that's on the docket as well for summerween this year I want to make a rug I want to use this I want to put this yarn to good use it was so wonderfully gifted to me. It deserves a project. It deserves a something. And I've got so much of it. If you missed that haul, I'll link it up there um, in case you missed it. But I've got two big paper bags full of this yarn from a co-worker of mine. And so yeah, I'm at least going to make one rug and then we'll see how it goes. But for sure, a rug is coming this summer. And then, one of the last things that I at least have planned, of course things come up as <laughs> the months go on. I've got another baby shower type gift that I need to be thinking about. I've also got a birthday or two to think about. I do have projects in mind for those things, but the recipient for at least the birthday things watches my videos, so I'm sorry, Lauren. I'm sorry, Bestie Lauren, but you're not getting a sneak peek at any birthday gifts from me. But the one last thing that I do want to talk about is a for sure that is not a gift, at least not yet. We'll see. It's neither here nor there. So <laughs> the last thing that we're going to talk about is a certain summer make along from our good friend, Heather the Crochet Witch. Hey girl, Heather has done, I think the last couple of years, the Stranger Summer make along. And last year I made a Scoops Ahoy Steve inspired blanket that <laughs> did live on my bed for quite some time. Um, I have a pillow with Steve. I've got the blanket in those same colors as the pillow, and it was on my bed. <laughs> it was on my bed for quite some time. It was a blanket, a, like essentially a big granny square blanket that was based off of the blanket that was on the bottom of like the trunk of Argyle's van in red, white, and blue, because that is the colors of Scoops Ahoy Steve, along with like hot pink and teal and black. I can't even remember all the colors I put in there. But that was last year's project. I had a lot of fun. So this year, I'm going to push myself to do something different. And since you know it's, it's Stranger Things themed, it's very likely that you will pick up on what I plan to do. But I'm only going to show you three colors of yarn that are going into this project, right? So first we have just a good old brown, a warm brown. This happens to be Impeccable by Loops and Threads. It's Michael's brand. It is the color Walnut. This was kind of an arbitrary pick. I just needed a brown I may use this brown. I may use a scrap of brown I've already got, but I needed brown. Mm hmm And then we've got Lion Brand Jeans Yarn. Lion Brand Jeans in the color Faded. So it's a light blue denim color, right? 
Now there is one particular character that at least I myself, I know I associate head to toe denim with, right? It's not, it's not him. This is part of it, but it's, it's not a head to toe denim kind of look, right? Because the last color, now, before I show you this last color, because I know, I know Heather is for sure going to pick up on this, but, <laughs> but I put up a community post on my community tab here on YouTube that it, had anyone seen a pink and green or a peach and green, a peach and mint colored variegated yarn with short variegated stripes on it. And it could have any shade of pink or peach or mint or green or whatever in it. I just was looking for a short variegated yarn in that kind of colorway. This is why I was looking for it. I did get a suggestion to use a Karen Jumbo in the color, was it Rosewood variegated, I think? I have that as well in the back of my mind. This color that I'm going to show you is close, but not quite. And the Karen Jumbo is also close, but not quite. I may go with this one just because I've got it. But I may also grab that Karen One Pound and just compare, or uh, Karen Jumbo, excuse me. And, you know, compare them and see which one I like better. Because... This is what I was going for. Ask this this kind of yarn. This is not showing up. There we go. It is peach and like a sagey green, an off white, and like a beige kind of color. Short variegated stripes. Short color color changes. It goes from green to like tan to the off-white to the peach really quickly. Quick color changes and that's what I was hoping for. And yeah, I know. I know Heather is gonna see this or I hope she sees this and understands what I'm going for here. But pink and green and like beige and, and white would probably be more accurate. But I might go with this anyway. So, can you guys guess what I what I have envisioned for the Stranger Summer make along? Would it help you to know that I've got a whole box of plastic safety eyes <laughs> on its way to me from Amazon? Or that I have some polyfill in one of my closets just waiting to be torn into and then with these we'll see we'll see how it goes but for now this <laughs> this is what i'm doing for the stranger summer make along which is coming up i think on the very first day of summer is when it starts so if you've got your thinking cap on like I do, and you're hoarding yarn already for those kind of projects, then yeah, I'm very excited for it. It's ambitious. I will just say, it is very ambitious. It is also not something I have ever successfully made. We'll see how it goes. Who knows? But I'm very excited to try. <laughs> and I think... I think these are what I'm going to go with, although I still may grab that um, Rosewood Variegated <laughs> Karen Jumbo just to see, right? Just to make sure I've got the best, the best color choice that I possibly can to do a certain pattern justice, right? And yeah, those are all the things that I think I want to talk about to you today. All the kind of upcoming projects that I've got in my mind that I want on my hook for the summer, as well as gifts and, you know, things like that. And of course, the movie marquee, the stitch and scream, those kinds of things. Those are a given for summer as well. And, a, you know, anything else that tickles my pickle, you know, but these specifics, for sure, the project with the cottons, for sure, the rug project, and for sure, the uh, stranger, 
Yarn is falling. The Stranger Summer make along. I am absolutely gonna do these. And the duster. So am I essentially saying everything I mentioned here is a given? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and anything else that, that may come up, but these for sure are what I want to work on. Time is never on a crocheter's side, of course, but that's, that's where we're going to end it. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Thank you for talking about some summer upcoming things with me. If you're excited for summerween, then leave me a like so I know, and, and you know, leave me a comment as well. What are you working on this summer? Are you making bikini cover-ups? Are you making lightweight shawls, bucket hats, market bags? Reusable water balloons, what are you making? What are you making that's summer, summer themed? I would love to hear about it. And maybe steal your idea as well. <laughs> and thank you also for subscribing today. And until I've got some other kind of video for you, some update on one of these many projects, I will just let you go. Thank you and take care. Goodbye.